my channel wish you all a very happy and safe diwali and today's video is in collaboration with maybelline new york so as you can see i have a mystery box here with me with full face of makeup and in today's video i'm gonna be creating this makeup look with using these products only and all of these products were sent to me by maybelline but this is not a sponsored video at all and when it comes to maybelline products and when it comes to makeup products maybelline is a brand that has makeup for everyone no matter what if you are a beginner or if you are someone who is intermediate or someone who is expert or someone who is an advanced makeup lover Maybelline just got your back and today as you can see I have this mystery box here with me and I'm gonna be creating this beautiful makeup look by using just these products and I'm so excited to share with you what I got in my mail and in today's video I'm gonna be creating this makeup look which is more towards the export level and if you are someone who knows how to do your makeup I think you are going to rock this makeup look I am in love with it and i hope you guys enjoy creating it too if you recreate this makeup look definitely let me know in the comment section below and tag me on your instagram account and also to add a little more fun in this video i will play a game rather a challenge with maybelline which is never have i ever challenge so i'm gonna be answering the top five most asked questions with maybelline so yeah if you're interested in seeing how i got this makeup look then please keep on watching but also don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit on that notification bell so that every single time I upload a video you will get notified and you won't miss anything from my channel and yeah without rambling much let's get started Alright you guys my face is nicely prepped and I have used a good layer of moisturizer to prep my skin and now let's move on to the primer and I'm gonna be using it only on those areas where I need it the most so I have a little bit of pore issues so I'm mostly focusing on the center of my face and also I'm gonna use a little bit right here underneath my eyes so that uh, the concealer doesn't crease and a little bit on my forehead all right for foundation i have the maybelline fit me matte and polis foundation you guys know this is so beautiful and i have two shades here with me one is in the shade 128 and uh, another one is 130 now 128 is my perfect match and uh, 130 is a little bit cool tone and this one is a little bit warm tone so i'm just gonna mix them two and apply them on my skin And also you guys these foundations now come with a pump so I'm gonna take a very small amount about this much so when your foundations do come with a pump you don't have to worry about uh, spilling it off while traveling so that's a really good thing and I'm just gonna dot it all over my face where I need it and then I will just blend it with my beauty blender and I'm just gonna use a very small amount because the more foundation you use the more cakey your face is gonna look and nobody wants that so I'm gonna use a very little amount on my forehead and and now I'm gonna blend it out with my damp beauty blender it's not wet it's just damp so make sure that you squeeze the water really well and then blend your foundation so I'm starting off with the center of my face and just dabbing it so this foundation is suitable for every skin type no matter what you have dry skin or oily skin or combination skin this is going to look good on everyone and this is a really good everyday foundation for every skin type so yeah this is how my skin is looking and as you can see it gives a beautiful sheen to your skin 
Then for concealer, I have two shades here with me, and this is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. This is really good, really affordable, and it works on every Indian skin. So they have a lot of shades as well. So I really like their formula. So I have in the shade 20 and 10. 20 is more of my skin shade, and I use the shade 10 whenever I feel a little bit fancy and I feel like highlighting my under eyes and the high points of my face a little bit. So that's when I use the shade 10. Otherwise, I use 20. This is in the shade 20 and I'm just going to use it right here where I have a little bit of darkness around my eyes, a little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow, on my chin and I feel like I have a little bit of darkness around my mouth and then I'm going to use the shade 10 and I'm just going to highlight my face a little bit. And with the help of my beauty blender, I'm just going to blend it out. But also at the same time, I'm going to answer one of your questions. That is, never have I ever contoured my nose on my own. Of course I did. I contour my nose in almost every single video because I feel without nose contouring, my face looks a little bit flat. And yeah, I love contouring my nose. And I believe if you contour your nose, it makes a really good difference. So, and today I'm feeling a little bit fancy and I'm going to contour my face with another concealer. This is in the shade 40. So this shade is two or three shades darker than my skin tone. And this is going to work beautifully as your contour. And this is going to look really natural. So I'm just going to use it right here where I want to contour my face and a little bit on my forehead not too much and also i'm going to use it on the sides of my nose and a little bit underneath my jawline if you have double chin this is going to hide that So this is gonna give a very slight definition to your face without making it too cakey and if you use too much of product this is gonna look bad so I don't really suggest you using too much of product just use a tiny bit and uh, this is gonna work all right now it's time to set the cream products on place and I'm gonna use the fit me loose powder you guys know this is a cult favorite product so I'm using the shade 15 and I'm taking a powder brush and just dusting off the extra. I'm not going to use too much of product. So make sure that there is no creasing on your eyes. Otherwise this is going to look too bad. And then I'm going to just slightly dabbing it around my eyes. And now it's time to answer another of your questions. That is, never have I ever baked my face. Oh my god. I have baked my face so much and I used to bake my face every single time when I uh, used to go out. But now I don't bake my face at all because I feel like uh, baking makes my skin really really dry. Although I have oily skin but baking just makes my skin really really dry especially underneath my eyes. So I don't bake anymore but yeah I used to bake my face every single day whenever I used to go out. And now it's time to set the rest of my face and I'm going to use a compact powder for that. And this is in the shade 230. This is a little bit darker than my skin tone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very little amount on my brush and I'm just going to dust it off on the outer parameter of my face. I also use the Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 20 but I thought of showing this to you. So now it's time to set everything on place and I'm going to use a setting spray and this is so good. I have been using this from past two days and I'm quite happy with the quality of it. And can you see it gives a very beautiful sheen to your skin and your skin doesn't look flat matte. Okay, now let's just quickly do my brows and I'm using the Maybelline Fashion Brow and it has a pencil on the other side and also it has a powder on the other side. The only downside is it doesn't come with a spoolie but the product is really really nice. 
and can you see how easy it is to fill in your brow I will just run the powder quickly on my brow this is such a stunning contour shade and it works beautifully as a contour and also as a bronzer so I'm not going to use a bronzer separately so I'm just going to use this shade Can you see how beautiful it looks and I am really loving the way my base is looking and everything sits on the base makeup beautifully if your base is right and yeah. Alright now it's time to use a blush and I'm gonna keep it very very subtle. Starting from my cheekbones and apply it upwards like that. So can you see this blush has a very beautiful sheen to it and it doesn't make your face look flat and uh, whenever I apply blush I just connect everything and it looks very cohesive. I just apply a very small amount on my forehead, on my chin, also a little bit on my nose. Alright, now it's time to highlight my face and I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Chrome and also it's time to answer another of your questions which never have I ever used a highlighter, a liquid highlighter. Yeah, of course I have used liquid highlighters a lot. I like using liquid highlighters under my base and it looks my base very dewy. Also, I like mixing liquid highlighters with my foundation. Also, I apply it on the tops of my cheekbones and it looks beautiful. So yes, I have used liquid highlighters a lot. This highlighter is blinding you guys and uh, when it comes to festive makeup highlighter is something that is must like I prefer using highlighter in every occasion uh, whenever I'm going out I use a very small amount of highlighter but when it comes to festive makeup highlighter is something that is a must 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 product so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it right here and just creating a C as you can see from here I'm just dragging it here and then I want to take my beauty blender just to blend it out a little bit with my skin so that it looks that the glow is coming out from my skin and it doesn't look like I have highlighter on top of my skin and can you see how beautiful it looks so my face is done and now let's move on to the eyes and I have this eyeshadow palette here with me So first I'm using this brown eyeshadow as my eyeliner and I'm applying it very close to my lash line. I'm not creating any wing or anything because I'm gonna go for a very soft smoky eye look for today. And as I'm not using any falsies for this look, so this is gonna give an illusion of uh, thicker looking lashes. Alright, so once that is done, I'm gonna take this beautiful shade and with the help of my finger, I will just apply it all over my eyelid. I'm using my fingers to get the maximum amount of pigmentation and you don't have to worry about being precise because uh, I'm gonna use a brush and blend it out later on. And then with the help of a fluffy brush, I'm just blending out the crease area. And then I'm gonna take the bronzer with the same brush. And then I'm gonna blend it right here. Then I'm gonna take the same brown shade and just smoking out my upper lash line a little bit. Next I'm digging into this beautiful golden shade and applying it in the center of my eyelid. Then I'm gonna take the same golden shade and applying it on bottom lash line and also I'm using it in the inner corners to highlight my inner corners a little bit and then I'm going to drag a little bit upwards so this is going to give a beautiful shape to my eye and make sure that the inner corner and this area is connected 
Okay, we are almost done. Now I will just quickly tight line my eyes and finish the eyes with some mascara and quickly come back. So this is the finished eye look and I am in love with the way my eyes are looking. I hope you guys like it too and now it's time to move on to the lips. And also I will answer one of your questions that is never have I ever overlined my lips. Now uh, I don't really overline my lips that much. I just outline my lips a little bit and sometimes I overline on the cupid's bow area. So yeah I have never overlined my lips in that way. Okay you guys so I am done with my makeup and now it's time to answer the last question which is so obvious that is never have I ever used a setting spray. I do use setting spray every time I do my makeup and this is so obvious. I use the setting spray as my primer before starting off my makeup. Sometimes I use it in between to set my base products on place. And also I use a setting spray to finish the rest of my makeup and now it's time to use the setting spray that I I used in between okay you guys so this is the finished look and I am in love with the way my makeup is looking I hope you guys like it too I had a lot of fun to create this makeup look and it's always fun to play with new makeup products and I hope you guys like this makeup too definitely let me know in the comment section below you like it or not or you find this video helpful or not and also do subscribe to my channel before you leave click on that notification bell so that every single time I upload a video you will get notified and you won't miss anything from my channel definitely let me know in the comment section below you want me to make any other videos for you and i would love to do that so yeah that's it for today's video have a happy and safe diwali i will see you in my next video till then bye